Hi, you reached Bill Yang. I'm sorry, but I'm out of office right now, running in the mountains, about to lose cell signal probably. So please leave me a message and I'll get back to you once I return to civilization. I feel like the trails are a great teacher to embrace the struggle, to be present and not look too far ahead, not look behind you, but just stay exactly where your feet are and embrace those moments because throughout the course of trying to run 100 miles or now 200 miles in some instances, it could be overwhelming if you try to think about the totality of it. But if you just focus on what you can achieve in that moment, that's where the trails are a great teacher for life itself. My passion for nature and the trails and the mountains certainly started with my own personal interests first, but once I saw that it became something that I could do professionally, I jumped in, both feet in, and haven't looked back. It's a tremendously fulfilling work in both regards to see self-improvement and also self-improvement as a filmmaker and content creator. So you just never know who that person is next to you, running next to you, running in front of you, running behind you. And that's what's so great about this sport is like, I never felt while I was out there, I looked differently, how much I made made a difference. It, like none of that matters. We're all out there trying to achieve the same thing. And that's the beauty of the sport. It's just filled with the most accepting, welcoming people on earth. So I came to this country when I was six years old, child of Korean immigrants, and it really wasn't until I had an unfortunate set of circumstances in my life where I lost my dad, who was murdered during a robbery at his business, a business that he started as an immigrant, coming here with better hopes and expectations for us. After that happened, it threw my world into a tailspin, and it really forced me to examine myself he and my mom were very passionate about hiking and being out in nature and passing on that love and that appreciation for nature to their children. Being in nature, there's just something about it, there's a healing component and it's, there's also a meditative component. In a lot of ways, the nature and trails have helped heal me and through that, I wanna use it as a way to help heal others and speak to others through storytelling.